I just gave a virtual keynote to 10,000 vets around the world about how the digital health revolution will disrupt their field too. As I familiarize myself with the work of vets, I realize that their challenges are not so different from the challenges physicians who treat people face. And the breakthrough in digital health could also help our pets live longer and healthier lives. I'm Dr. Bertalan Meshko, and this is a future bit from The Medical Futurist. As I was digging deep into what vets should expect in the age of digital health, I was surprised to see how much of what we talk about on this channel applies to veterinarian care too. Vets have to manage their online presence, launch telemedical services, deal with clients who Google the symptoms of their pets and ask a lot of technological questions, just like in our healthcare. Therefore, the trends we have identified in digital health are very much relevant to their field too. For example, the most mainstream and widespread digital health trend today is about the wearables and smartwatches we use. But pet wearables exist too. These devices that capture vital parameters such as the body temperature, heart rate, respiration rate and pH levels help keep track of the pet's health on a continuous basis. But what was truly fascinating to me is a technology called Vet Guardian. It's basically like a radar that tracks your pet's vital signs from afar. In hospitals, we put all sorts of sensors on patients, but that would hardly work with energetic pets running and rolling around. So without a physical connection, that guardian is able to accurately track temperature, pulse, respiration and movement. It's an astonishing technology that we would love to see in hospitals too. There are technological advancements in other areas too. 3D printing is just as widely employed to manufacture custom-designed prosthetics for animals as it is for humans. Smartphone apps can help track the medical documents of our pets, keep us in contact with the vet, especially for post-surgical management, and telemedicine can improve access to care at any time. For example, if your dog vomits, let's get immediate medical help without bringing them to the point of care. But to take advantage of all these, vets have to adapt to these technologies, gaining new skills about digital literacy and learning to use new equipment. Remote care is the new reality of healthcare and as the pandemic accelerates the use of online appointments, EVET platforms and virtual care, vets need to be conscious of additional organizational and data privacy issues while they need to learn how to communicate effectively with their clients in these virtual spaces. The big promise of digital health, of course, is AI, though which will no doubt disrupt that care as well. First, just like how it will alleviate overburdened hospitals from administrative problems, AI could help take care of paperwork in a vet's office. Just look at voice-to-text applications that can transform the conversations with clients into a medical report the vet only has to check at the end of the visit. Beyond that, AI is fed with enough annotated data, it can run just as successful diagnostics in radiology for pets as it already does for humans. Finally, genome sequencing and microbiome testing also have the potential to become standard practice in vet care. Is the same notion as it is with humans, the more data we have, the better care we can provide. But only if we all learn to deal with that. Veterinarian care can expect the same trajectory of digital health technologies as we see in healthcare. And perhaps in a weird way, the passion people have to keep their pets healthy will expose them to these new technologies enough so they can start taking advantage of them in their own healthcare as well. If you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe below. Also, please don't forget to tap the notification bell so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you so much in the name of the whole The Medical Futurist team.